right, everybody, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I worked on rerouting some fire alarm because some things changed as always. So I went ahead and drilled a hole through this wall and added that half inch sleeve because this is a hard lid and we piped out straight through the bathroom ceiling. So I had to pipe back into it. Um, so here's my leftover wire. I did a cut in box. Basically I pulled the wire out of the box that you'll see here in a second. Pulled the wire out of that box and did a cut in box over here. And if you've never seen what a cut in box looks like before with the battleships behind the wall, that's what it looks like. It's pretty sweet. But anyways, I pulled the wire out, like I said, and cut in this box over here because it was too close to the air duct, which is has to be like three feet away from the air ducts and is basically just right next to it. So I had to move it. So I put the wire over here, got everything strapped up, everything good. Um, and then reusing the box that was already in the ceiling, I tapped off of this chime strobe device and basically just uh, tied my wire onto the old wire and used it as a pull string to come through the J hooks in the ceiling tiles above here. Um, I don't have any pictures of that, I'm sorry. Um, and then I just pushed my wire back through the pipe that was going straight to the box. You'll see that here in a second. Um, so I got that all dialed in. So that went really smoothly. I was really excited about that. Um, everything was going really smooth today. My back wasn't hurting and I was just super happy about everything. Um, just listening to music, working by myself. It was a good old time. But anyways, here is the box and you see how close it is to that uh, air duct right there. It's just way too close. So anyways, got the wire back in there for the uh, chime strobe and there was no requirements on that guy that as far as I know um, and then from there I went over to the other room where they made some more changes to the fire alarm so basically I had to open up a couple devices and then uh, reroute some wires pull some new wires and then uh, tie those wires back together I was going to show you guys on a blueprint exactly what I did but I forgot to take a picture of that so I'll try to sh show you guys that tomorrow if you're interested but basically I um, opened up the chime, chime strip on this wall and then I pulled a new one back to that loop that you saw and then back into this room. Um, so on the ceiling, I added a strobe right here. So this is where I changed the end of the line resistor from the wall to this guy right here. And then secondly, the smoke detector, I opened the smoke detector right next to it um, in the middle right there. And then I took one of those wires, put it on the other side with the coil. And then from there, I um, added another wire back, pulled another wire back to the um, fire alarm smoke detector. And then I wired that back together. And then I also, at the, the loop over there, I went ahead and wire nutted those together. So for continuity and stuff like that. Um, and then here is the chime strip over here on the wall that I tapped into. It was the end of the line before with one wire, and that's when I opened that up and then added the new wire back to the coil and then back to the strobe on the ceiling. So I don't think I butchered that too bad, uh, doing a couple takes on this video, so I had to do it, uh, redo this video a couple times because I was butchering it really bad and I needed some more time to explain myself. But then from there, I got the, both of those rooms done. There was a little bit of time left in the day, so I went over to the fire alarm closet, uh, unrolled the wire inside the panel. Um, if you guys remember this room, this is where I've done some work before, shutdowns, all that good stuff, mounting boxes on the wall, pulling wire. Um, this is the life safety closet slash fire, fire alarm closet. But anyways, I opened this fire alarm um, panel up and then the wire bundle on the left I unrolled that, did my fire alarm testing with the uh, electrical meter, the Fluke 117, did the ground fault testing, the continuity, and um, also the, there was another one, but I always forget. Uh, but anyways, I got all those done, um, and everything was good, no problems whatsoever, everything checked out, so I taped it back together, rolled it up, rolled it back together and taped it up. That's pretty much what I did today, everything went really smoothly, like I said, and I'm glad I got everything done anyways that's gonna wrap it up for today guys thanks so much for watching i appreciate it as always if you enjoyed it don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe I'll see you guys in the next one god bless have an awesome rest of your day and steven please finish your salad tomorrow so i don't have to embarrass you again thanks guys peace